<laughs> Making photos for his wife. So cute. I love them. Little paradise this. And we even have yellow ones. Look at them. Wow. Going to the local shop. Als je nog niet wakker was, dan uh, <laughs> moet je dat nu. How we make our coffee. <laughs> Here we will have breakfast. <laughs> this is like, um, I don't know the English word, like where the water is, very deep. This was for the animals. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Off. Yeah, amazing. This was uh, the pig stable. Yeah. <laughs> also a little table. Yeah. Chicken. For the chickens. Chickens <laughs> and dry wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is the uh, that's the old toilet. Yes. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can use it. Yes, it works. <laughs> it's usable. <laughs> it's usable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great, great. And this is my favorite tree. Like okay. a heart. Even more. Oh, even more. <laughs> With that kind of yeah. <laughs> a little decoration yeah. <laughs> there as well. Oh, hey. Look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spiders. Yeah. Amazing place. Look at it. So my dad will do some work here now, like something with this. I will um go to the garden. It's so peaceful here, guys. It's amazing. I mean, look at this place. You have this view from your garden and from the house. See, this is my favorite tree. You can see the heart. The best thing for me, um, and what makes it really special, is that I'm here with my dad, and he tells me all the time how happy he he is here, and like I see him being so happy, and then we talk about that feeling. Like he also has that special feeling that I have with Poland. That when he came here, he immediately felt like at home, like that really calm and happy feeling like that pure bliss in your whole body of not needing anything and just being at the place where you belong and when we talk about that i like get goosebumps all over me because i know that feeling we cannot explain why but you have that feeling and so i just hope that um they will um live here full time somewhere in the future because right now they still live in the Netherlands and they come here to you know renovate some things and enjoy here and I hope his wife um, will also um, enjoy their time here in June they will come with uh, they will come together um, yeah so it's it's really really special and I also feel a special feeling when I'm here also because I see my dad so happy, of course, and he already told me that this is now also my home. So um, whenever I want, I can come and stay for a little bit. So uh, Hungary is now my second home. <laughs> Poland will always be first. Hungary now is second. And I think um, in the summer or something or after the summer, I will come and stay here maybe for two weeks. In the winter, I will also come and stay here. And um, because it's the perfect place for me to, you know, create as well, videos, drawings, my books. I really, I have a whole series of kids' books in my mind. Now I have to write them. It's, it's a very peaceful place. So um, it's close to Poland. So it's perfect. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> so happy. It's raining now. We are planting some flowers. Oh yeah. 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 Mooi. Yes. Some more nature friends, Hungarian snails. <laughs> oh, he's eating a lot. Hehe. <laughs> 
My dad found something in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Our own carrots. We have carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it's just brilliant how he found those carrots because we were sitting um, and talking about how um, the house found them and um, how everything happens for a reason. And then we were also talking about um, um, like the, the dandelions because there are a lot of dandelions in the garden and... Um, in the Netherlands or like in Western culture, you see them as like, um, how do you say that in English? As like not wanted. So uh, people put them out and throw them out of their, uh, remove them from their gardens. And here you see that like the bees, they love it. It's perfect for nature. You have like a, a sea of yellow um, dandelions and then you know it's it's perfect for nature and then we were talking about how vegetables in western culture are thrown away when they don't have a certain shape or something um, then you cannot use it anymore or something but here you just grow your own vegetables and it doesn't matter how they grow because sometimes like carrots can grow like in different shapes because it's better for the growth um, and they just you know nature does it does its thing we should allow nature to do the things and then nature is showing us people humans how to live don't put people in like boxes don't judge them and don't you know determine their value on how they look like or who they are <laughs> yeah so that's brilliant that he found the carrots he was so happy <laughs> it's amazing guys a lot of le life lessons I have some ideas for my children's books so I'm writing them down while my dad is working going for a little drive <laughs>
Palenka. Bir. 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 Making the fire to cook some dinner. And heat the place. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Evening is here. My dad and I had a wonderful dinner together. Um, cooked. Homemade <laughs> um, after we had the, the drink with our neighbor. Now my dad is there again to try like a Dutch drink that he brought for him as a present. And I am chilling and writing and stuff, editing the video for you. Um, just chill. And um, so this is what our life for this week looks like, our slow life in Hungary. Um, I hope you liked liked it. I will make a lot more videos for you also for our memories because my dad just watched the first video and he loved it so much. And um, we will also do some exploring in Hungary, so stay tuned. Um, we have five more days together, so we will enjoy fully. See you soon.